I moved up here about two years ago. Two years ago, I moved up to the Pacific Northwest. Um, I thought I was liberal. I did. I really thought I was a really liberal guy. And then I moved to Olympia fucking Washington, and I don't know anymore. I'm not sure. <laughs> Those are the, I, I came from Los Angeles where, like, Mike settled down. I go to Olympia, they're like, uh, you want to sign up for the GOP? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't... <laughs> Olympia is so liberal, it's like the Huffington Post and Jezebel had a baby and it was raised by Mother Jones. You know, like... <laughs> I love... I do love Olympia, though. Olympia's a fun place. My favorite thing about Olympia is watching the corporations try and market to them. It's hilarious. It's so fun to watch because, like, regular businesses are trying to go to hippies. I remember going down the street on State and there was a McDonald's and on it said, locally owned and operated. Oh, one of those locally owned and operated McDonald's, huh? One of those co-op McDonald's with the organic Big Macs. You guys hear those? <laughs> guys, you don't have to be mad. Uh, they're employees. You know, it's not because they're getting paid that they're living in their ca car. They're free-range employees. It's fine. <laughs> Pretty liberal guy. I, uh, I, I think I'm liberal because of Star Trek, really. That's, it's a weird connection, but it's true. Star Trek is what made me a liberal guy. I liked watching Star Trek as a kid. The guy who created the show was a socialist. And when you watch that show, when real life situations come up, you have no choice but to go along with it. Like I remember like Star Trek is famous for the first interracial kiss on television. Great, great accomplishment. Freaked a lot of people out, right? Not Star Trek fans. Because that's just two humans kissing. In Star Trek, you have humans fucking aliens. You guys notice that? That's way weirder on the scale. It's not even close. You're like, yeah, at least they're both human. Like, that's... <laughs> that's like the next step in the logical fallacy for the gay argument. It's like, you can't let two guys get married because then he'll marry his dog. And then what happens when the aliens come? Like, that's... <laughs> The most unbelievable thing about Star Trek is that Kirk never got an STD. I swear to God, like that's, he put his penis in everything of every color on every planet. <laughs> you think there would have been one episode where like, he's like, goes into McCoy and McCoy's like, damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, but not one from Planned Parenthood. God damn it, get your shit together. <laughs> I like Star Trek because like, there was never, like the thing about Star Trek was everyone worked together for the better good and, and to accomplish the mission, right? It was all about the mission. Whatever the mission was, that was what they were going to, like there never would have been a Black Lives Matter problem in Star Trek because that was their mission. Like you would have Kirk and be like, okay guys, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go help the Romulans. The Romulans are there with the Romulan Lives Matter. There was never someone in the background going, uh, don't you believe that it's all carbon-based life forms matter? No. No, not once. Because even Spock would step up and be like, uh, all carbon-based life matter is the goal, but right now Romulan matter. Okay, get with the program, bitch. 